I think it's been uh, it has been uh, tremendous at Real Madrid throughout his career so far. But I think this season is for me the most influential player in this uh, in this team. He's outstanding. The way he goes forward, the way he does defense. He's playing as a ten, left winger, left back, tackling in his box, assisting in the other one. I mean, this is a, a, an example because it wasn't easy for him when he first arrived in Madrid. This is the Real Madrid team. 4-3-3 as always, and as we mentioned before, it's as close to their strongest team as you'll get. Perhaps the exception being Nacho. Remember, he and Sergio Ramos have played 300 minutes over the course of a week. That included the extra time against Bayern Munich uh, in the Champions League quarter-final second leg. Uh, the famous trio now, they could be a legendary trio. Kroos, Modric and uh, Casemiro, and of course the BBC up front. And whenever they start a game, uh, they do not lose in La Liga this season. The last time we did was actually against Real Madrid in that 4-0 that we reminded you of uh, just a couple of moments ago. Um, Barcelona's 4-3-3, Guillaume, and we mentioned just the one change, Alcácer in for Neymar. What is the key for them? Is it attitude? Is it to do with the way they knit play together to recover and rediscover feeling? I think Jarius mentioned it earlier. Without the ball, if they're actually able to uh, recover early, that's where the danger is, of course, because with the space, uh, you know, Messi and Luis Suarez and all that. Let's hand you over to your commentary team. It's a very good evening to Jerry Armstrong and Rob Pum. Thank you, David. Well, they tell us this is the most watched game of football ever. 185 countries all dipping into El Gran Clasico. Two teams who are separ separated historically, but in La Liga, separated by three points. We have every view covered at the Bernabeu this evening. It is said that this is Luis Enrique, as he's known Lucho, his last. It could be the game that defines how he's remembered as the Barcelona manager. Seven majors he's won. He's in the cup final this season. He could do the double again. He's done the treble, but lose today. And effectively, they are out of the reckoning for La Liga. Win effectively the end of Rafa Benitez's stand. He had all kinds of problems. Benzema and Carvajal have missed six games. Bale was drafted in, they had problems, but they are at full strength and they're a team at the moment. The big call for the referee, Ronaldo goes down. There are about 90,000 witnesses all claiming that he'd been found. Right. And let's see this again, here it comes, he gets across from Tite. Well, let's see. Oh, he gets the player, he doesn't get the ball. It's a penalty. Well, the referee was arching his neck to see it. Ronaldo claimed the... Messi, you can't pin him down to a position. Jordi Alba. Suarez has hung deep. Ooh. Whistles one in. It's a chance, Rob. Good strike. Just wide of the left hand post. And McGeehan entered with his formation, playing three at the back. No room for experimentation tonight against Real Madrid. Messi all gets past Casemiro. He's going to have to watch his step tonight, Casemiro. That's his job to stop the flow in midfield oh, and the referee a booking. Yeah, very early booking that's dangerous he doesn't need to get that's one of the things he needs to improve on for me that's hope he's walking now and he doesn't really now and he doesn't really need to do that early on he's only on the halfway line and he doesn't need to foul him referee's no choice and they give him a yellow card well, he's lost possession Casemiro to Kroos Marcelo, Ronaldo with some workspace, Benzema fighting for a position in the centre, Ronaldo, oh, big sorry. hand from Ter Stegen, it was important because not only did he stop it, he had to batter it away from Benzema who was waiting for any spillage, well this oh, is not good, oh no, look at this, a little messy is down, that's not a sight you want to see for any footballer, he's oh. in trouble, he's got a whack in the mouth there, Maybe the dentist rather than the physio that they're requiring. Well, let's see what happens when he comes in here. Does he catch an arm, an elbow? What is it? He's holding his face. Oh, he catches the elbow of Marcelo. It looks an accident, Rob, but it catches him plumb in the face. Looks like his mouth or teeth here. He jumps to get out of the way, and the elbow catches him. It's going to have to go up because yeah. uh, there is a spillage of blood. Marcelo, 
He's got a graze on the arm as well. Oh, but if he caught him with the elbow and the teeth, that, that could be where the graze is coming from. Yeah. That looks like the case. He might have a tooth embedded in the elbow. Close with the corner. Ter Stegen fighting. Zoman Piquet. Marcelo. Ter Stegen stays. It's Ramos. It's the post. Scrambled over the line. It's an unlikely hero. Casemiro. Maybe an ugly goal, but a goal of great beauty in the eyes of those Real Madrid supporters. Yeah, it's his fourth goal, Rob. He scored already this season, but. You can see when the cross comes in from Marcelo, they've not been good defending um, from Barcelona over the last couple of months, I have to say. It's put in deep the far post. There's two Real Madrid players going for it. And you watch the corner coming in, punched partially clear outside the box. But then look at this. The marking is awful. Far post. Well, the question is, is offside. was it offside? Yeah. I'm it was Ramos looking. who will get the assist. Well, Ramos hit the post. I'm not sure if he was offside. There was other players moving out who looked offside. I don't know if Casemiro was one of them, but it's counted. It's a goal, and Ramos hits it off the post, and he's got Cristiano Ronaldo behind him, looking to get on it as well. And there you go, top end for Casemiro. Well, in a couple of years' time, that might be one that goes to the video assistant referee. Casemiro wasn't waiting around to see if there was a flag now. He was celebrating. Well, we'll leave that to game and David and, and uh, Thierry to discuss if they can see it at half-time. PK to Rakitic. Lionel Messi. Busquets. Rakitic. Leaves it for Messi. Messi full steam ahead. Brilliant, oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant Lionel Messi. Hasn't scored in six Clásicos, but he's back to haunt Real Madrid. Cut and thrust, absolutely superb. Well, he's on his 46th goal now, Rob. And the little man does what he does best. Clever play, combination, lovely little one-two, acceleration into the box, and an absolutely top drawer finish. Well, one for the history books as well, because this is the goal that puts him ahead of everybody else as the scorer in Clásicos. Oh. One more now than the great Di Stefano. Look at his first touch coming in here. He looks like he's lost it there to Carvajal. He goes past him in a flash. Look at the body swerve. The great balance, and then he slots it past the goalkeeper. Fabulous goal from Lionel Messi. My goodness. 499 goals in Lionel Messi's career. Well, was, and they're not as fluent going forward now. Here's Busquets. Two additional minutes to the first half. Brilliant ball from Suarez. Messi waiting for Rakitic to make the move. And Rakitic doesn't have that turbo charge. Messi does. Collides with Casemiro again. The referee felt that was the immovable of immovable of chance. You don't think they're trying to get him sent off any chance because everybody, PK, Sergio Roberto, all come surging forward trying to get him sent off. And let's see it again. He comes across. Oh, that's a foul. He could easily have booked them for that. And that's why I said the first foul was a silly one. I think if he hadn't already booked them for a yellow card, he'd have given them a yellow card there. And it could quite easily have been a second yellow card. Messi thinks so. This is Barcelona's first corner of the game. For the final play of the first half. Rakitic right across the face. The goalkeeper's missed it. Oh, what an escape for Kayla Navas. Little Messi very rarely misses chances like that. Yeah, there's a foul there. You can see Suarez falls on top of Navas as he goes to get a touch, but you're right, Messi. That was an opportunity. I can't believe he's missed it. Yeah. Asensio, the replacement for Gareth Bale. Asensio continues the run. Benzema on the outside. Oh, Benzema can't get there, but uh, that was because just a step of it by the hand. Full back to full back. Marcelo. He's had an excellent week, and we know what he can do as he dances with Rakitic. And a swinger from Kroos. Marcelo makes a, an excellent run. Benzema's in there. Oh, what a save by Tersteger. Cutting reflexes from the German. Yeah, pure reflexes, Rob. You're spot on. He can't believe it. 
Karim Benzema cannot play. Jordi Alba. Rakitic touch. Alcacer's big chance! And Kayla Navas to Real Madrid's rescue. What a chance. Alba. Modric. That's interesting. Benzema. That's Great really interesting. So. It's the youngster. So he's got a big chance here. Pass it on to Ronaldo! He wants the ground to swallow him up with the whole world watching. Wow, wow. Doesn't miss many like that normally, Cristiano Ronaldo. What a great piece of play on the counter-attack. Karim Benzema, Marco Asensio shows that pace I was telling you he's got Rob. Lovely turn of pace. He outstrips everybody, puts it in front. Well, it's slightly behind, but he should have hit the target. Iniesta. Oh, and that is Suarez. Wow. Shot class once more from Kayla Navas. Tony Cross is just slacking a bit for me, Rob. I don't Messi. know if he's run out of steam. Gets around. Casemiro, Messi. The one man who's standing between Barcelona and a goal at the moment. Messi gets stuck in. This is Kovacic, who brings a different dimension to the Real Madrid midfield. Asensio playing the Gareth Bale role. Ronaldo makes an angle for him. Asensio! Ball went for the wow. elements of surprise and. So Stegen follows rule number one of goalkeeping, never get beaten in their post. And what's in the final chapter? This is Jordi Alba. Lionel Messi. Rakitic. Teases Real Madrid. Tries to find the gap. Rakitic! Oh, what a goal. Stunning goal! Patience pays off! And you can see what it means to Luis Enrique. Wow, that has stunned the crowd here at the Bernabeu. It's his eighth goal of the season, Rob. That's his best goal of the season, I'll tell you. It's going to keep the league title ahead. Comes from nothing, inside on his left foot, looking for the far corner, absolute superb. Curling it with his left foot, that's brilliant. Oh, take a bow, Rakitic. 2-1 to Barcelona, and the league title is still up for grabs. We have Liga. Well, it was perfection, it had to be. So to sneak it good. past Kayla Navas, who has been in world-class form. <laughs> Luis Enrique <laughs> leaps off the bench <laughs> like he scored a goal in a Clásico, which he has done, of course. It's the only place it can go in. Absolute top draw. And there's a disconsolate. Keylor Navas, Ronaldo, but they've got 17 minutes left to see it. Rock like figure for Barcelona. Oh, it's a pass. Messi. It's one of those tackles where Ramos had committed himself to the ball. Oh, wrist straight red. Ramos oh, is off. Goodness. Well, the referee didn't even consider that. He turned it, he was about to speed past him, and Ramos had committed himself. And for the second season in a row, Sergio Ramos is sent off against Barcelona and by the same referee. Well, he has these rash moments, Rob, and he has thrown himself in. My first thoughts were it was probably a yellow, but... Let's have a look, see. I think he's right because he does go in two-footer, Rob. He's every right to set him off. That's a two-footer, that's a really rash challenge. And if he well, makes proper contact, he, he could have broke his leg. I did my best, Jerry, to play devil's advocate, but... That's a yellow, that's a red Yeah, ball. there's no defence for Sergio yeah. Ramos. When it's you see ball. it in slow motion, and you'll see the referee was in the frame of the picture as well. Yeah. He had a good view. He gave himself half a second to think about it. And Sergio Ramos yeah. is dismissed. It's a red card for me, two-footed challenge, dangerous play. Don't think the referee had any choice. I'll tweet you later. <laughs> Ramos and PK um, do have a social media presence together. Those gets to Gomez. Oh, brilliant ball by Suarez. Andre Gomez. PK's in the centre-forward position. PK! 
Kayla Navas keeps this game alive. He's been in menacing form then. Messi. Kayla Navas. Game. Tony Cross. Marcel. Hits with hope. Brilliant run. Oh my goodness. Goal. It is James Rodriguez who does write his name in the history books. Well, you said it wrong two minutes ago. Ten man Real Madrid, five minutes to go. And he gets in at the near post and puts it in. That's a fabulous goal. It's his seventh goal of the season for James Rodriguez. And I don't think he's going to score a more important goal than that. Really massive, massive goal for Real Madrid. PK wants to get on it. Well, Tony Kroos's ball is good, but the ball and the run is even better. Nobody picking him up. He comes from the far post position, Rob, and nobody picks him up for Real Madrid or for Barcelona. He's run at least eight or nine yards unmarked, and he slots it in past Ter Stegen. Oh, if only Barcelona could defend. And you think of the saves Ter Stegen's already made in this game to keep them in the match. Goal. What we will say quite often in his easy down makes a change which isn't often. There's Asensio. It's the youngest man on the pitch. Asensio! Oh. Stegen. Still a play kicks it out, it's still in play. The danger won't go go. Asensio's in there. Oh, and Ronaldo had a chance to win it, but even he couldn't turn himself inside out to get the winning goal. Do feel for Luis Enrique and his team leading until the death again and another late dramatic goal from Real Madrid. Great run, Sergio but now, Roberto. This is where the extra man is paying off for Barcelona. One final roll of the dice. Can they hit the jackpot? Gomez, Jordi Alba, Lionel Messi! Oh my goodness! Lionel Messi does it again. He's superhuman. Oh, Lionel Messi has just exploded La Liga into life. Another chapter in the incredible story of this little man. Oh my goodness, you cannot write the script for this, Rob. This is unbelievable stuff. Look at the faces of the Real Madrid fans and the Real Madrid players. Unbelievable. It's blown the league wide open. His 500th goal for Barcelona is possibly the most significant one. How He's much is that booked. shirt worth? He's going to get booked, but he don't care. He's got a good book. Book me, jail me, handcuff me. He doesn't care what they do to him tonight. Extract his teeth. He has scored the goal. What a run from Sergio Roberto. This is brilliant, Rob. From right back spot, good engine. And he starts it all off. And then the ball's played out wide. Andre Gomez, he plays in Jordi Alba, cuts it back. And then watch this from Messi. What a finish. That's his 47th goal of the season, Rob. And he is the best. He's the best there is. He's oh. the best there ever has been, possibly the best there ever will be, as those Real Madrid defenders that were left in his trail there, he has taken Barcelona level with Real Madrid at the top of the table in an instant of magic, the slightest of gaps, the biggest of goals from Lionel Messi, 500 up for him. And this is how it started, Jerry, from long, deep long inside up. the half. But they never give up, and this is the 91st minute and, and maybe a couple of seconds added on. And you've got players still pushing forward, wanting to win it. That's the belief they have. Barcelona want to believe they can score more goals than the opposition. It's been a fabulous game, both sides trying to win it, but there's the man who won it, Lionel Messi. He has been absolutely superb. Black eye, missing teeth and a shirt that is going to go in the club museum forever. He's got the winning goal yet again. No adjective can do justice to what we have seen at the Estadio Bernabeu this evening. Real Madrid thought that they had a point, a point that could have probably guaranteed them the La Liga title. Three points clear, game in hand. But the Madridistas stunned into silence at their home ground.